Okay, we're up here in the attic space of this garage. It's uninsulated. And I talked earlier about those leaks from the warm condition space up into the attic space. What happens is cold air leaks into the home. The heating system burns up a bunch of fuel or uses electricity, whatever energy source you're talking about, to heat the air. And then the air, if there are leaks into the attic space, the warm air will leak through that ceiling and it kind of creates a, a chimney effect. The cold air coming in gets warmed, leaks up through the attic space. And number one, it's a concern because it's an energy loss. And number two, when this is insulated, it's going to be almost identical to outdoor temperatures up here in the wintertime, minus 20, minus 30 degrees, whatever you might have. Um, that warm, moist air, when it leaks from a living space into a cold attic space like this, can actually condense. You don't want warm air leaking up into here, condensing and causing moisture buildup. Once again, you can run into structural issues and mold. And those, are, those are really big concerns. We don't want any of that going on in a home. So we'll get around this electrical receptacle where the wires come in with our sealant, and then we'll go around the box itself, I think, with foam. I think that'll actually work a little bit better. So we're just going to fill those in. We filled all those in. Now, I'm going to take and spray some foam around this box itself to get that all sealed up. And that's about all there is to it. So what we'll have when this project is all done is an attic space that's uh, got a vapor barrier down to keep that moisture from getting in here and condensing in as well as all these little individual air leaks sealed up. And that's, studies have shown that that's where most of the moisture gets in anyway is through these direct pathways, these attic bypass leaks. Another common area to look at when you're up here, we don't have a chimney in this garage, but most homes are going to have a chimney chaseway or a furnace exhaust pipe penetrating up through the ceiling and up through the roof, and that's a huge attic bypass leak. That's probably the one you want to get taken care of first.